Historians of psychology typically focus on key figures and their contributions to the growth of psychology as a discipline, as well as the zeitgeist in which their work developed, but ignore the role of instrumentation in the establishment of psychology as a science. After Wilhelm Wundt, known as the modern founder of psychology, created the first experimental laboratory in 1879, there was a strong interest in the adoption and procurement of equipment that could be used to study the human mind. Wundt desired psychology to be equivalent to other natural sciences, such as physics and chemistry. Wundt and his collaborators were influenced heavily by the work of psychophysicists from the mid-19th century who had researched the relationship between physical stimuli in human perception with an emphasis on precise measurements. Sensory physiology became attractive for early psychologists after discoveries by astronomers on inter-individual differences in the observations of moving stars, which they called the personal equation. This led to the development of the chronoscope, which was a clock linked to a recording device. In 1848, Matthias Hipp improved upon Charles Wheatstone's design for measuring projectile velocity using electromagnetism to invent the Hipp chronoscope. Constructed for the accurate measurement of short time intervals, it was first used by astronomers such as Adolf Hirsch, who also introduced the term physiological time as the period elapsing between the presentation of a stimulus and the subject's reaction to it. The chronoscope was endorsed by Wundt in 1874, as well as by E.B. Tischner in 1915. Psychologists in various laboratories began to study reaction times using the HIP chronoscope. However, while putatively accurate, it was used with control instruments developed for psychological laboratories, such as the hammer apparatus and the fall chronometer, to control for error. from the creation of one's laboratory in 1879 to the time of the First World War in 1914 is known as brass instrument psychology. For quantification purposes, researchers used mechanical and electrical devices made mostly from brass and steel to measure psychophysiological variables. These would have been used for stimulus response tests, where they either provided a sensory stimulus or functioned as devices used to record a subject's response. Along with the chronoscope from physics, experimental psychologists took the chymograph from physiologists who had used it to record blood pressure, but instead applied it to recording various time-related events for psychological experiments. New inventions were also being created on the basis of these adopted devices. Using the principle of a rotating chymograph, the memory drum was constructed, which allowed lists of words to be observed for fixed periods of time in order to be viewed by individual subjects. Psychological researchers also appropriated the spectroscope from physics to investigate perception, specifically limits of visible spectrum. Experimenters further co-opted organ pipes and tuning forks from music and other sciences to examine auditory perception. The use of these instruments, which were initially co-opted from other disciplines, was essential to the distinction of psychology from philosophy and its establishment as a science.